Jimmy Thing from Maximum PC here at Oculus Rift's launch event. I'm speaking with Oliver from Ubisoft, game director of Eagle Flight. And can you tell us what Eagle Flight's about? So you are an eagle flying over Paris. Uh, the world is set 50 years after a human left. And you are trying to establish your nest at the highest point of Paris and uh, trying to conquer the, the city back. So, you know, it is, I just, uh, you know, finished playing about 20 minutes of it or so. And it is a first person shooter in which you are an eagle flying, like, like as you mentioned, throughout Paris. Yes. And, you know, we played uh, mostly a multiplayer, uh, the multiplayer portion of the game. There were some tutorial missions as well. Is it going to be largely focused on multiplayer? Is, it gonna, is there going to be a single player campaign? How does that work? In fact, there are three parts in the game. There is a free flight for everybody to enjoy the, the feeling of flying as an eagle. Uh, the thing of, of flying, it was my personal dream also uh, to fly and now VR allows me to fly and everybody can enjoy the free flight. There is a single player solo demo and there is a multiplayer. So the, the game is really has those three parts. Okay, and how did you guys, I mean it's such a wacky concept to have a first person shooter where you're eagle. So, so it's a shooter and you're thinking like, you're probably thinking like the viewers at home probably think how do you shoot as an eagle and you guys have like a, almost like a hawk scream I guess yeah, yeah. and it's like it pulsates like a sound wave that like knocks other eagles uh, we down. Call it a screech wave. We call it a screech wave. It's a, it's a high frequency sound wave attack and you take down the enemies like that. So how did you guys, how did you guys come up with this cookie concept? <laughs> So it's, uh, but we wanted to have eagles and we to be uh, close to nature. And so uh, animals are actually uh, using high frequency pitch sound wave sometimes to, uh, to, uh, to do stuff in the world like uh, radar, like bats. So uh, it's, it's a cool concept uh, with eagles. And you guys, any, as you mentioned, it takes place in Paris. Did you guys model it like nearly one to one? Did you guys really look at Paris or? Yeah, we are really looking at the real Paris and uh, most of what you see is really based on on Paris and the, the placement of buildings and the, the landmarks and it, we are really working uh, hard to, to make it as uh, close to, to Paris as possible and Paris allows us to have very interesting uh, streets and narrow streets and tiny passages for you to experience that precision that we have while you fly. Yeah and uh, can you sort of talk about the the flight mechanic? One thing that I was concerned with was that you know so motion sickness is a very hot button issue with VR I was afraid that you know I'd get motion sick, but you know, it, was, it was very comfortable. Can you explain how you guys got around that? So we, did, we started as an R&D project. For a few months, we studied well, how to use the most of VR to be as comfortable as possible with motion. So I was convinced that there was a solution to have lots of motion still to remain comfortable. And that was the base of our research. We also found uh, the, game, the, the controls to be super accessible because it's controlled mostly with your head and precise at the same time. So comfort, precision, and accessibility uh, came from the, that R&D. And then we uh, created the game from the ground up uh, for VR from that research. So it was really a game made for VR. Yeah, I gotta say, like, I'm generally not a big fan of um, games that, like, you move where you, you know, you, like, look at stuff or you tilt your head. But it oddly worked here, and it oddly, I mean, like you're an eagle, so that's how eagles fly, so it, yeah. it makes sense too. Yeah, yeah, you have very precise with your head. Uh, you don't have to control with your uh, fingers, like joystick, etc. You, you go exactly where you want to do to go. Uh, you just have to look where you want to go, and uh, that's how you can achieve the super precision you can have in the game. So can you talk about the, the movement mechanics a little bit? Because I know, so as far as I understand, like tilting your head left and right, it's not so much about that, but it's more about tilting your head side to side. Can you talk about that a little bit? So it's a combination of both, in fact. Uh, you look where you want to go, and we have the, what we call the tilt control. So you tilt your head to, uh, to also uh, turn comfortably from your chair. So it's a combination of tilting and looking where you want to go to achieve the best in terms of precision. Cool. And then the final question, uh, price and release date? Uh, it's not really announced, but it's going to be released in uh, fall uh, 2016. Awesome. Thank you, Oliver. For more information on the Oculus Rift, check out MaximumPC.com. Thank <laughs> you.